Hey, what's up, jabronis? I'm Steven, and welcome to Why Critics Hate the Show, where I go around the internet and find you guys the best quotes critics gave for why they hated a certain movie. Pretty much, I find them, I tell you, you laugh, and you guys tell me in the comments below which one to you was the funniest one. On today's episode, we are talking about Fantastic Four, or Fant Four Stick. Hell, it's the Fantastic Four reboot that you guys already know is getting trashed. Pretty much, critics have been killing this movie, and we're going to find out what they've been saying. As always, guys, here we go. For having such a talented cast on paper, it's rather extraordinary how everyone seems either disinterested or sleep deprived. They made it ugly, says Reed Richards. Yes, son, they did. Sadly, in the final 20 minutes, the piece teeters more suddenly and more completely over a cliff than in any other film in recent memory. There's a climactic battle, of course, but it's generating about as much suspense as any given episode of Fraggle Rock. Josh Trank's Fantastic Four is a movie full of potential that it's not allowed to deliver upon. Toby Cable portrays Doom not as a dictator with supreme power, but as a video game playing Beardo with daddy issues. But to be fair, they all have daddy issues. All the pieces were in place for a refreshing entry in the superhero genre, but instead Fantastic Four completely unravels at the halfway point. If your superhero movie is 101 minutes and it takes 75 minutes before the bad guy even shows up, there's something seriously wrong with her script. I'm just saying. The script's biggest mistake, there's nothing at stake and there's nothing to care about. The negative buzz around the Fantastic Four is so radioactive that you could expect to develop superpowers by just reading about it. A mess that starts off promisingly enough but gets worse as it progresses and completely collapses in what's arguably the worst third act in any superhero film. Fantastic Four will rest in a crowded grave of superhero films that suck. You have to employ the buddy system if you go see the Fantastic Four, so each of you can wake up the other at various points throughout the movie. There is so much wrong with the new Fantastic Four that writing about it feels like more of an autopsy than an actual review. Just give Marvel Studios the damn license back already. Fantastic Four is quite possibly the least action-filled action movie in Marvel's history. Audiences will be watching the clock waiting for something to happen. While it never quite becomes a bad film, it can never quite make you forget that it's a Bob Storm. Fantastic Four is so serious about itself, its characters, and the dangers of science that it actually has long montages of its characters doing science. A puzzling misfire like a pilot for a TV show that you'd never want to watch. And lastly, Fantastic Four feels like a 100 minute trailer for a movie that never happens. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the reasons critics gave for why they hated the Fantastic Four. Hopefully, you guys thought this was funny. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like it below. Comment which one was your favorite one, which one you hated, which one left you going, damn, that was perfect. Pretty much, guys, if you guys like this video, share it with your friends and let me know below what did you think. As always, guys, I hope to do this again and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!